entrevista en español, yo acabo de conocer a Gianni recientemente, me dijo que hablara eh, para ustedes, no solo que yo esté esperando que yo le diga. For all you motherfuckers that speak English though, that don't know what I just said, uh, pretty much don't worry, we're not trying to rebel or anything like that, but you know, just um, keep doing what you're doing, you know, you're looking good, you might want to put some pants on. <laughs> Hotness, he's sitting over there, and I don't know, it just, I don't know, I'm sitting here watching, um, DD4L, y'all know that's my show, um, the new season come on, uh, Friday, they have started playing it from season one in the beginning, so it's giving me so much life right now, like, so much life. Yes, God. YOLO! What's going on? I am driving for the first time. I am using two feet like an old lady. I got the left foot on the brake and the right foot on the gas. Yes, I do, Lord. Yes, I do. But uh, we're on our way to the store because I got to go and get some potatoes. I haven't been out of the house in about two days. And let me just say, let me just say, it feels so good to be out of that house, y'all. You just don't understand. It is 77 degrees. Look. 77 degrees, y'all. And I'm loving every bit of it. What do you want me to say? Anything you can say in English, sí. Spanish. I got Spanish people. You got Spanish people. I got Spanish people. Okay, la gente que sabe en español, yo acabo de conocer a Gianni recientemente. Me dijo que hablara eh, para ustedes, no solo que yo esté esperando que yo le diga. For all you motherfuckers that speak English, though, that don't know what I just said, uh, pretty much don't worry. We're not trying to rebel or anything like that. But, you know, just um, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you're looking good. You might want to put some pants on. And, uh, you know. Have a good day. Did you even tell him your name? Don't matter. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. I don't want him to fire me. But you, know, you, might, you can call me Francisco if you want. Let's go with that. <laughs> you know. What you make? I'm making uh, <laughs> vegan. I'm gonna make rice now. You gonna make rice now? And then beans over there. Look at that. We in a hotel. <laughs> and she over here. She got bell peppers and onions. Now, what do you call that? Um, Spanish. Yeah. Uh, pimiento. 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 Okay. It looks like fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. You hear that? All of that. <sighs> My child got me sick. He had it last week, and I guess this is my week. And it also sucks because I can't really get around like I want to. Um, yesterday, hubby stayed home from work to try to take care of me because this shit for the birds. And now I understand why my son was so agitated last week. Like... When I say agitated, that's an understatement. He was freaking annoyed. He couldn't breathe out his nose. So that was number one on the list. He was like, my nose running. I'm over here looking like bruh man from Martin. 
it just he wasn't having it. So I was giving him Tylenol and putting him to sleep and letting him sleep it off. And now mommy has it. Throat filling all ishy. I got <clears throat> I got my uh stuff right here. He's Drama. Drama, drama. <laughs> drama. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, I'm not doing anything today. <clears throat> I'm not doing anything. Like, <coughs> y'all pray for me. Because right now, I feel like I've been beating the damn throat. I feel like my head been bashed in. I'm feeling some type of way today. And I don't like it at all. I got my water that feel like sandpaper. Y'all. I have got to get up and make a hot toddy. Like, it's a must. I can't, I can't deal. Like, I cannot deal. I don't know. I'm telling y'all, I think kids are like superheroes or something. Because they get sick, they can sleep it off. Let a parent get sick. It's like the world coming to an end. Because I feel like, I feel like I'm dying. Y'all just, y'all don't hear me though. Y'all don't hear me though. Like, I had a flashback from when I had him when he was a month old. And I got the flu. And I was breastfeeding at the same time. Y'all. All I can say is Jesus was on my side because I was about 10 seconds from giving up. I, I was running a fever. I didn't feel like being bothered. All I wanted to do was sleep. I was at home by myself with the baby and then my friend she came over and she basically kidnapped him the whole day she was like look you got enough breast milk in the refrigerator already don't worry about pumping or nothing like that just sleep okay the country I'm trying to work on it cause some people tell me I'm too country I can't help it it's my roots okay I'm a country gal mm hmm Y'all, I got so much stuff. Look at this. I got um, broccoli soup. I got chicken noodle soup. I got bread. I got um, some sort of panini press or something like that. Y'all, it's about to go down. Like, ain't nobody playing around. And the baby is back there. And he's mad as ever because he can smell the food and it's too hot for me to give it to him um we're on our way home right now my brother he just went in the store to go get some